Number three, a manufacturer buys items from six different suppliers. The fraction of the total number of items obtained from each supplier, along with that probability of an item purchased from that supplier is defective, are shown in the table. Find the probability that a defective item came from supplier five. Now, when they give you a chart like this, it's kind of nice because um, all you have to do really is remember that this is part over total. Okay, part over total. So think about that formula for Bayes' theorem. And notice that they're asking me about supplier five. So supplier five is going to be the numerator for my base there. Okay. Um, so all I'm going to have to do is big ginormous fraction bar, 0 0.35 uh, times 0 0.03. And then just put everything on the bottom, part over total. So you're going to have 0 0.05 times 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12 times 0 0.02 plus 0.16 times 0 0.07 plus 0 0.23 times 0 0.01 plus 0 0.35 times 0 0.03 plus 0 0.09 times 0 0.05. Okay. Mega huge fraction. Um, can you trust me that I can plug these numbers into a calculator? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to record me punching a bunch of buttons on a calculator, but when I, when I clean these numbers up, I'm going to end up 0.35 times 0 0.03 is 0 0.0105 on the top. And on the bottom, once you do all of that stuff, you multiply and you add and you get 0.0329 on the bottom. So then divide those two numbers, 0 0.0105 divided by 0 0.0329, and we get approximately 0.3191. And so even though that was Bayes' theorem and Bayes' theorem looks like it's going to be uh, really confusing, if you think about it, it's just part over total. And so that problem really wasn't that bad at all, okay?